Welcome to iLecture Online. In this video, we're going to see that a basis can actually contain more than one eigenvector. So let's go ahead and try to find the eigenvectors of this particular matrix. It's a three by three matrix, and we're given one of the eigenvalues. So it needs to be associated to the eigenvalue lambda equals one. Again, we're using the same technique to find the eigenvector. We're going to subtract the eigenvalue from each of the diagonal elements and then multiplying that resulting matrix times the eigenvector x, y, and z, the unknown eigenvector, and set it equal to the null vector or the zero vector. So first we take the matrix here. We get minus 4, minus 1 becomes minus 5. Then we have 4 and 3. Minus 5, 5 minus 1 is 4 and 3 and we get 0, 0, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So we multiply that times the eigenvector, the unknown eigenvector x, y, and z. You could also use x1, x2, and x3 if you like, and set it equal to the 0 vector, 0, 0, 0. We can now write this in the, what we call, augmented matrix format to solve this, because after all, this is a, a set of linear equations. We can solve that. We get minus 5, 4, zero, 3, zero, 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 minus five, and the augmented zeros here from what we set it equal to. And now we're trying to solve that for x, y, and z. We already have one row that's completely zeros, and notice that the first row and second row are identical, which means we can eliminate the entire second row by multiplying the first row by negative 1 and adding it to the second row, which means that this then becomes the following matrix. And we get minus 5, 4, 3, and 0, and this all becomes zeros. Which means in the end that we have minus 5x plus 4y plus 3z is equal to 0. Now, how do we find the eigenvectors? How do we find the values x, y, and z? Well, we're going to let z equal 0. When we let z equal to 0, we get the following. We get minus 5x plus 4y plus 0 equals 0, or 5x equals 4y. That means that x is going to be equal to 4, and y is going to be equal to 5 for this to be true. And we have our first vector, eigenvector. We have x equals 4, y, oh, x equals 4, y equals 5, and z equals 0. And so let's call that vector v1. Now we can find the second vector by now letting y equal to 0. If y is equal to 0, we end up with minus 5x plus 0 and plus 3z equals 0. Or we can say that 5x equals 3z, which means that x equals 3 and z equals 5. So we take those three values and we have ourselves a second vector, v2, which can now be defined as x equals 3, y equals 0, and z equals 5. Which means that we now have a basis, and the set of all the vectors making up that basis is the first vector, which is 4, 5, and 0, and the second vector, which is 3, 0, and 5. But here what we wanted to show you was that indeed we can have an eigenspace that contains two eigenvectors representing the eigenspace, which is the basis for this particular matrix and that particular eigenvalue. And that's how it's done.